Hello everyone, this is Trajan Caesar, and today we're going to be playing K Gradle Kaiju. Let's begin with the deck profile, then we'll play three matches with this deck. You play this because you remove three of the Kaiju counters to prevent effects from going off. This can nuke the field relatively easily. This is good for negating the activation of card effects. This is good for some rank 7 XYZ monsters, which we have one. Well, one, yeah. Um, so that that's a good reason to run him. This prevents your monster from attacking. And here's how this deck works. You tribute whatever monsters your opponent summons with the kaijus. Then either they attack your face down gradles with the kaijus or you run your gradles into them. At which point you steal back your own kaijus. This is very good, especially in current formats where cards cannot be targeted. So, let's say your opponent has, like, a Crystal Wing, a Cyber Dragon Infinity, a Dark Destroyer. You tribute it with something like Gamma Seal here, then attack it with one of your Gradle monsters and get it back. Another option is you put a Kaiju on their side, special summon one on yours, then bounce yours back with Grand Mole. And we run this for some synchro plays. But largely, you're not going to go into the extra deck nine times out of ten. Usually, you'll resort to winning mostly with your kaijus. Nine times out of ten. We run our standard Raigeki because always main deck Raigeki. One day of peace and upstart goblin for draw power. Soul charge because it's good. Terraforming because we really need our Kyoto waterfront. This to help get our gradles to the hand. We run two copies of Storming because you should always run this or one of the other various Mirror Force cards that you like. This keeps your opponent from special summoning, of course. This is in case you're attacked directly, and you could just summon a Gradle, forcing them to either end their battle phase, or you steal their monster. We run one of this to be able to just summon our Kaiju when we tribute an opponent's monster so that we get it on our side of the field. We only want to run this at one because it's pretty much a card of last resort. You don't want to run this always. Now in the extra deck, like I said, you're never really going to run in, you're never going to really use your extra deck unless it's your last resort. The Kaijus will do most of the work for you, but we run two copies of Scarlight because it's very good for getting over certain monsters. We run the standard Gradle Dragon because that's sort of the boss monster for Gradles. We run Crimson Blader, Armadis. Shouldn't have to explain why that's good. And Cataster to get rid of basically any potential beat sticks that we could normally not beat over. Um, we run two copies of Big Eye, Levier, and one <laughs> of this. So, let's get started. Um, let's see here. 
No pendulum, no machine, no zombies. Hmm. Let's let's try giving this Oh, he's already facing someone. Was hoping to face him. After all, why not? Let's hear. Deck testing. TCG only. No Yang Zings, no Psy frames, and I don't see what else he doesn't like. Um pretty sure this is all TCG. Yeah, I'm not seeing where any of this stuff wouldn't be. Sometimes you just have to double check this stuff before you enter in a match because then they'll complain. Oh, not that it matters because they're already in a match. Um, looks like we're going to be forced to host. Oh, okay. So we'll host. Okay. And we'll go second. This is a pretty decent hand. Hmm, terraforming. What am I playing against? The Hidden City. Isn't this... Yeah, this is Subterrors. I don't really know what Subterrors do. This is my first time playing against them. So, this will be a very interesting and hopefully fun game. Let's see. Okay, flip effects. Okay. Um, we'll play our field spell. Luckily, he didn't set MST. And we're going to run into our own monster and steal, it, steal that back. Because life points don't matter. We'll end our turn. Now during our end phase, we'll add the trap just for just for a little insurance in case they find some way of getting rid of this. We have two counters so far. Searching his other field spell to get an egg one from the deck. Very good. Okay, what was the point of that? Um... Okay, effect negated. Again, I don't know what subterrors do. Uh, I don't think we need to do it again. Um, prediction ritual. So, throwing in some sort of prediction princess engine in this well it does seem like a lot of these are flip monsters okay Let's do this.
this... I don't know if this is the smartest thing to do. Oh. They forgot their effect was negated. Oh. I can be an idiot. Unless... Eh, not worth it. You always want to add something from your deck to your hand. Um, I'll activate this so we can have a great old time. Don't know what this guy is waiting for. Still, I really like the music I picked for the winning track. I don't know why for the losing track I picked something that kind of doesn't really fit and is kind of creepy, but eh, it's enjoyable too. Um... Thinking about uploading maybe some War Thunder or World of Warships videos, maybe after I'm done these two uh, Yu-Gi-Oh videos that I've promised to do. Is this guy going to time himself out? I really hope he doesn't, because that, that wouldn't be a great old time. That wouldn't be a great old victory. After all, this is a great old deck, and it's such a great old deck to play. Now that I've run that pun into the ground, um... Let's see what he does. I'm gonna type something in the comment section. Time? Question mark? This is probably, like, he doesn't want to forfeit, technically, but he's just running the clock out because he can. And he surrenders. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, host? And we'll go second again. Eh, yeah, this could have been better. This means that we'll have one dead terraforming in the deck. Because I don't like your back row, I'm going to MST. Who runs generic Mirror Force? I mean, I, I guess somebody does, but... It's like, why? There's so many better versions of Mirror Force out there. Um... 
I'm going to activate this. And I'm going to set this. Um, Aqua Actress? Oh, Merlantians. Great, Merlantians, my favorite. Oh well. If they try to summon Megalo, we'll just tribute it with the Kaiju. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> kind of a waste, wasn't that? Watch it be like a mirror force or something. Surrenders. Okay, that was really short. Um, hosting. Yeah, I just guess a lot of people don't know how to handle playing against Gradle Kaiju. I mean, you can't blame them. It is a Gradle deck. I, I guess that some people are just just say it's way above their pay gradle. Okay, that was a really terrible pun. <laughs> Even by my standards. Really low pay gradle? Or... Ugh. <sighs> Gem Knights. Guess it's time to see if gems are truly outrageous. Hmm. Ye old trick. Tribute their monster with Gamma Seal, then steal it? Or do we want to run this? Um, let's be original. I mean, yes, we'll take more damage, but... We'll flip our Gradle, attack, take some nice damage, then do a lot of damage back. Assuming that they don't have like some sort of weird Mirror Force set. Because that would suck. Stall game or activating an effect? Wow. People really don't like it when I take back my gradles after I give them. Or take back my kaijus after I give them. Eh, what am I saying? Brilliant fusion, a brilliant play. Let's 
Seraphonite. And he surrenders. I guess gems truly weren't outrageous. Um, it's only been two matches, right? I guess I'll host again. Um, again, we're going to have another dead field spell stuck in our deck. Hopefully we won't draw it. Hopefully we'll actually win this match without the opponent just surrendering. Divine Wind of Mist Valley. Harpies? Why would you run this instead of Harpies Hunting Ground if you're running a Harpy deck? Oh well. Whatever happens, we'll just steal their monster. That's how it always goes. It's nothing to harp about. And steal. Should have saw this coming. We'll summon another of these, run it in, steal it, then attack him twice with two of his own monsters. Magical hats! <laughs> okay! I mean... Who runs this card? I mean, I know in theory... My one friend Jonathan said that this would be a good card for Fluffles because you could, in theory, get your opponent to send Toy Vendor to the graveyard, but it's like... Oh gee, I wonder which one it is. It, it, it's not like... I mean, I guess it's good that you got me to inflict battle damage to myself with that, but it's like... <laughs> well, thanks for the kaiju counters. <laughs> it, it, it's like, gee, I wonder which one it is. Maybe it's the face-down defense card with the card underneath it. <laughs> it... it it really doesn't work for 
for an XZ's monster. <laughs> Harpy's hunting ground. Hard to believe it's only been round four. It feels like this game's been going on for a while. <laughs> eh, I guess it just feels like it's a lot's been going on because I've been having so much fun with this deck. Um, yeah, remove a counter. Yeah, remove another counter. You kind of gave me a ton of counters there. I can can I can keep doing this. <laughs> Go ahead, make your XZs. Abyss Dweller. Okay, that can be a bit of a problem. Attack me. Detach so I don't get my effect. Or wait, is that how that works? Yeah, exactly. time to draw this, but perhaps we could bait them. <laughs> and you just wasted your material. Good job, guy. By the way, don't use MST on my set Mirror Force there. Guaranteed to be a real Mirror Force. It's, it's definitely not remove brain can... It isn't <laughs> remove brainwashing. Nope. Baited. Great bait, mate. Rate 8.8 .8 out of 8.8. <sighs> Remove another counter. What's the point of even destroying my counters? I mean... And we lost, but can't really complain because we've had two wins today. Um, all in all, this is a great deck. If you're just getting back into this game again, I'd recommend playing Gradle Kaiju because it's an easy deck to learn and it gets over a lot of the problems with a lot of problem monsters a lot of easier to learn decks can't deal with um, but it's really fun just to see the reaction of your opponent when you take when you like tribute their own boss monster to take their, the monster you tributed their monster for back and then hit them with it. Great removal, great deck. 
it's great old fun. Um, I'm going to end the video here. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. This is Trajan Caesar, signing off.